Hi there, welcome. This is Vince of Vince Prep and Agos Admissions Consulting talking about Berkeley. Uh, Berkeley. It's backwards, I know you can't read that. Um, I love these essays. I think this is a great first set of essays to start working on in terms of brainstorming stories. Kellogg is good as a first school because the essays are fairly standard. Tuck is also good. Frankly, Berkeley's better because of these behavioral questions. So to summarize my tips so far, I encourage you to start the goal essay first because at Agos Admissions Consulting, once we know your resume and your goal, uh, then we can start to help you choose the best stories for all the other essays. And in some schools' cases, like Wharton, there is no other essay. There's just a goals essay. But in the case of Berkeley and Tuck and Kellogg, um, there are extra essays. And Berkeley's essays are wonderful because they're short, um, which is not necessarily good for you. It's hard. But more importantly, they're very, very specific. So the questions are basically, there's three, there's goals question is essay three. So go in reverse order. Start with three, then go to two, and then go to essay one. I won't even talk about essay one in this video. Essay two is the theme for these series of videos I've been making. Um, there's three possible options. Tell us about a time that you had a transformative experience. That video has been made. You should check it out. Or tell us about a time that you had a significant accomplishment. These, the phrasing is a little different, the way I'm saying it. It's basically the question, the purpose of the question behind the question, the topic of the question. And finally, the third choice is a difficult decision. That's the theme for this video. Um, our advice at Agos is to answer all three of them when you're working with us so we can really get to know you. My theory about admissions consulting or application to, to MBA programs um, is that it's like a puzzle. You're basically trying to present, you know, you look like this to them, a, a, a crazy mixed up thing. And I'm not very good at Rubik's Cubes. I haven't finished solving it. But, you know, you want to have a, a logic to the choices uh, that you make. The schools that you select should have a logic that clicks into place so that the reader says, oh, I get it. This person is whatever, uh, whatever you're trying to convey to them. So have a conscious plan. And the way to do that at Agos, our way of doing that is to holistically see all the possible stories and then begin to narrow the choices down until you find that one best option that uh, presents who you are and represents your selling points so that you can stand out and get invited to the interview. So let me talk about this difficult decision question. Here's the question itself. Describe a difficult decision you have made and why it was challenging. So the final essay is 250 words, but I don't care about that at all, and I encourage you not to care about it in the beginning because brainstorming is about opening your mind and word limits are about you know narrowing your options and forcing you into a small box. For now, forget that there is a word limit and just fully explain your idea. Here are what I feel are the questions behind the question. First of all, what did you decide? Um, also, what were your options, right? You were choosing between A and B. What's A and what's B? Um, what did each option represent to you? So I'll give a, a brief example in another video, but I was choosing between whatever, something, a short-term benefit versus a long-term benefit, for example, just a stupid quick example. Um, how did you make the choice between those two, short-term or long-term? That's very general type of choice and what each one represented to you. Um, so short term represented obviously pleasing my boss or hitting my numbers or whatever it was, um, achieving a, a specific target right now, whereas long term was less, uh, was more vague. I didn't know we would hit a target, but I felt in the long run we'd be better off for whatever reason. So just giving a silly example. I'll give a real example in another video. Um, and finally, more, most importantly, and sort of hardest to answer, I think, is so what? So if you, uh, what are the pros and cons of choosing this story? What does it say about you? What might it say about you? Um, admissions officers are basically trying to understand, especially at Berkeley Haas, your fit with the school. They have these four defining principles. They're trying to understand, do you represent those four principles? Do you fit their culture? 
every school has a unique culture. And Berkeley, I don't know if you can say Berkeley's more unique than others, but Berkeley, I grew up, I grew up in the suburbs near Berkeley, and every chance I could, from about age 13 onward, I escaped to Berkeley because it, it is really cool and interesting, and it's a place that appreciates individuality uh, and celebrates individuality. So I escaped my safe, boring suburban life and had a great time with my friends uh, at record stores and cafes and hanging out in Berkeley as much as I could because uh, it was so much fun and so exciting as a place to be. And Berkeley Haas um, does, to a large degree, capture I, all the Haas students I've known are strong individuals, and that's great. Um, as a school, as you know, the school is emphasizing entrepreneurship and that sort of Bay Area culture, um, which I know and love, of, of being innovative, of setting a trend, of doing something different and standing out. So, why would you choose, why might you choose this story? Does it have anything to do with your potential contributions to Haas or your fit with their core uh, values, their four sort of defining principles of Haas, Berkeley Haas? Or, or is it somehow relevant to your goal? Does it tell me a story I need to know to make your future goal, which is SA3, believable, um, for example? So when you share your ideas with us at Agos Admissions Consulting, tell us, in a sense, use this more or less framework um, to share with us one or two or even three possible uh, examples of um, difficult decisions you've made. I love this question. I think life is all about decisions. And leadership um, is about making tough decisions that not only influence you, but could have a big impact, positive or negative, on those around you. So it's a great question to get you thinking. Even if you're not applying to Berkeley Haas, it's a great question to prepare for an interview. Um, that's it for now. Thanks for watching my videos as always. Please subscribe for the latest updates. Best of luck with your applications. Bye for now.